The story that follows isn't a particularly original story. It has been told in different versions over the years. Some people would say it is the story of good against evil. Others will say that it is a story about courage, bravery, and about how dreams come true. Finally, a few others who just happen to know some of the details firsthand would say that it is simply the story of a young lad named Martin who not only couldn't meet the admission requirements for attending a proper school, but who would probably also have great difficulty in filling out the admission form. Yet, in the great adventurous school, he was considered one of the smarter guys. He wasn't the most devoted or hard-working of students, but he was quite clever, at least by Troll and Ogre standards. Not only was he capable of thinking while carrying out such functions as breathing and walking at the same time, but he could also perform basic math calculations without needing to use his fingers. Students like him were considered special in the Great Adventurous School. In this glorious institution, some of the most famous intellectuals would gather to pass on their knowledge and experience to the students. Of course, the term intellectual may not be the best way to describe individuals who teach such units as head bashing 101, bad mouthing your opponents, and advanced thief logistics. Martin wasn't the mightiest of students. In fact, some people would argue that asking Martin to use might to resolve a tough problem would be as effective as asking a couple trolls to visit their local hip veggie restaurant and have a nice meal without any weight of casualties. He was fast, all right. And had a natural instinct for self-preservation. Eventually, Martin would succeed in graduating after three long and hard years. Now it was time for Martin to move forward and make good use of his degree. For most graduates, good use would mean becoming a janitor, some sort of an outlaw, or dying while performing tasks that people with good day jobs refuse to do. In Martin's head though, there was really only one option. Janitorial work wasn't so profitable as to help him pay off his student loan, and he certainly had no interest in becoming a dead person, even if that meant that his financial woes would at least be over. He would need to become a hero, as well as rich in the process. This is the part of the story where we would join Martin on his way to the town of Cavinbridge, accompanied by his loyal friend Rupert. Wait for a moment, Rupert. Oi there, mate. You can't go any further without paying the toll. What? Is this some sort of joke? <laughs> Thank you. 
Please let me pass, my good man.
I managed to reach up here all by myself and still keep one of my coins.